Fushimi. Fushimi. He's so mean, but she's so hot. <laughs> yeah, why? Why must life be like this? Fushimi, you're doing such terrible things. But you're so freaking hot. <laughs> okay. <sighs> That's a fan, girl. I just had to. Because he's my sexy sadist god. But anyway, sorry that this review came out a lot later than normal because I was, first I was doing my hair, then I went to go see the new Hunger Games movie, which was fantastic. Oh my gosh, my mind totally blown. I mean, I read the books, but still, the movie was just... But anyway, I'm not here to review the movie. I'm here to talk about K, Return of the Kings, episode 9. So, that ninja girl from the movie... Uh, Hirasaka, she came in this episode, okay, and Fushimi broke her out and then traded points with her while he gave her money. And I was like, yo, Fushimi. You see, I think, I'm not positive, I'm not positive because I can't really tell, but I think he might have a plan, okay? Like, maybe he's actually trying to go in to the Green Clan just so he can get some information, or maybe to try to stop the Green Clan himself by working on the inside. That's just a theory, though, because I'm not really positive, because it also seems like he really just doesn't care and wants a new type of scenery, okay? So it's really, really tough to try to guess what Fushimi's thinking, because this dude's all over the place. <laughs> all right. But that's what makes him even more attractive. Oh, my God. Okay, so normal citizens are starting to get powers. And it's all because of them slates, okay? Literally, the, the people just go out throughout their daily lives and then bam, something will freeze or something will get lit up on fire and stuff like that. It's just, oh boy, it's crazy, it really is. There's no control. And that's what Scepter 4 has been trying to do is to keep order, okay? Let me talk about Bartender. Coop. Uh, Kusanagi, I believe his name is Kusanagi. I've never talked about him before, but I really gotta start talking about him because Kusanagi is probably one of the best boys of K Return of the Kings, of, of K in general. Like Kusanagi, we've seen him so much in action within this season, a lot more than last season, okay? Last season, he was just like a chill dude and stuff like that, someone you could talk to, but this season, he's been going in. And yo, him practically breakdancing when the dude had Awashima and pointing the bullets at him. That was so cool. I was like, yo, he's breakdancing. This is like some samurai shampoo stuff. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, Kusanagi, man, he's got some flipping skills and it was so awesome. The animation, yo, yo, <laughs> okay, I really really enjoy this episode all right let me talk about uh how ended where we have uh goki okay the guy with the scar we met him a couple episodes back he was talking to awashima and how he killed the previous blue king and now he's taking fushimi's spot oh my gosh so he's just gonna be a bodyguard because i don't think he can do what fushimi can do because fushimi he's special we all know that, okay? He is a very, he was a very important asset to the Alliance, to Scepter 4, stuff like that. And now that he's gone, they're replacing this dude who killed the previous king. Yo. Just, yo. Having Awashima just shaking and stuff like that. Like, yo, yo. <sighs> Now, I know what a lot of you guys are expecting me to say, because I've been saying this in almost every single one of my reviews about I wish she was fan service, but you know what? You know what? I'm just done. I'm done talking about it. Okay, I'm going to let that go. I don't know why. Because I'm in a good mood, okay? I had a lot of Fushimi scenes, so I'm happy. So, I'm just going to ignore the I wish she was fan service and soak in the sexy sadist god that is Fushimi. Okay? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so... <laughs> Great, fantastic episode, and enjoyed it so much. And I can't believe this is gonna end in like what four more episodes, I believe we have. Oh boy, <laughs> it's going in. 
So catch you tomorrow as I review Haikyuu Season 2, Rakurai Kishi no Calvary, and Ute Warumono uh, Itsu no Kamen. Yep, I caught up, and I'm going to start reviewing it. Mifimo Otaku, sayonara.